Hi, wonderful friends. Let's find x. Um, first of all, remember the law of exponents that states that a to the power of m minus n is equal to a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. That means that we can write this as e to the power of x squared divided by e to the power of 1 is equal to x. Now, anything to the power of 1 is still that thing. So, e to the power of 1 is still e. So, we write e to the power of x squared divided by e is equal to x. Now, let us multiply both sides of this equation by e to the power of minus x squared. The essence is, I want this to subtract this so that we have 0 here. e to the power of 0 is 1 and I'm going to have 1 over e. That simplifies this further for me, okay? So I'll multiply both sides of this equation by e to the power of minus x squared. So I have e to the power of minus x squared multiplied by e to the power of x squared is equal to x. This will be divided by e. All right. I don't know if you can see that, but this is what we have there. We have e to the power of minus x squared multiplied by e to the power of x squared divided by e, right? Is equal to, we must multiply this side by the same thing. x multiplied by e to the power of minus x squared. All right. So this is same thing as e to the power of minus x squared multiplied by e to the power of x squared over e is equal to x multiplied by e to the power of minus x squared. Now, when you have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, is actually equal to a to the power of m plus n. So since they share the same base, we can pick one base and then we add the powers. Minus x squared plus x squared divided by e, okay, is equal to x e to the power of minus x squared. Now, look at what we have here. Remember that minus a plus a is zero. So minus x squared plus x squared will give us zero. So what we have is e to the power of zero divided by e is equal to x e to the power of minus x squared. Okay? Now, remember any number to the power of zero is one. I'm going to attach a video here where I explained in details why is it that any number to the power of zero is one. I'm going to leave that video here, okay? Now, e to the power of zero is one. So we have one over e is equal to x e to the power of minus x squared. Now, let us square both sides of this equation. I'm going to tell you why soon. Just stay tuned. Now, if this is the first time you're seeing us, click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos daily, so please tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads, and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you. So, like I said, let's square both sides of this equation. So, if we square, I'm going to have 1 over e, all squared, is equal to x, e to the power of minus x squared, all squared. Okay, so we have 1 over e to the power of 2, which sentence as 1, yeah, let me explain. Remember that when you have, remember that when you have a divided by b raised to the power of n, okay, is actually equal to a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n, all right? So, that means that we can write this as 1 to the power of 2, which is 1, and e to the power of 2, okay? Is equal to, this will give us x to the power of 2 multiplied by e to the power of minus x squared raised to the power of 2 as well, okay? So we have 1 over e to the power of 2 is equal to x squared multiplied by, remember when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, okay? So that will, that means that this will give us e to the power of minus x squared multiplied by 2. So we have 1 over e to the power of 2 is equal to x squared e to the power of 
minus 2x squared. All right, now I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this. Why, why, why am I doing this? Remember the number of your function? Yes, for those of you that don't know what that is, it what that is. Now, the number of your function states that if you have an expression in this form, a e to the power of a. And if you introduce the lambda w function to it, this is actually equal to a. Okay? So the power of e and its coefficient must be the same. Now, we are going to manipulate this and this to give us the same thing. Do you understand? As we are going to manipulate both of them to be in this form, then we introduce the lambda w function to solve for x. As easy as that. So we start with, let's transfer this to this side and this to this side. It is easier for me. So we are going to have x squared e to the power of minus 2x squared is equal to 1 over e to the power of 2. Now, when you look at the power of e, notice that the difference between the power of e and its coefficient is minus 2. So, we are going to multiply both sides of this equation by minus 2. So, now we have the same thing here and here. So, we have minus 2x squared e to the power of minus 2x squared is equal to 1 over e squared multiplied by minus 2. So we have minus 2x squared e to the power of minus 2x squared is equal to minus 2 divided by e squared. You can see that the left-hand side is ready. Okay? Yes. But what of the right-hand side? So we keep manipulating this to get the same thing, to be in the form of the expression I just gave, I just showed you. So we have minus 2x squared e to the power of minus 2x squared is equal to minus 2e to the power of minus 2. Yes, because 1 over a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of minus n. Okay? Yeah. So, look at what we have here. You can see that what we have as our coefficient is now the same thing as what we have as our power. So, we, this is the right time to introduce the lambda w function. Now, if we introduce the lambda w function of minus 2x squared e to the power of minus 2x squared is equal to the lambda w function of minus 2e raised to the power of minus 2. Now, according to my explanation earlier, that when you introduce lambda w function to an expression in this form, that is equal to a. Now, for the first one, our a is this, right? And for the second one, our a is this. So it means that the lambda w function of this will give us this minus 2x squared is equal to, and for this, this will give us minus 2. Now, we are going to divide both sides of this equation by minus 2, okay? So, we have minus 2x squared divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 2 divided by minus 2. Now, minus 2, we divide itself to give us 1. So, what we have left is x squared is equal to what? 1. <coughs> now, to get the value of x, <coughs> To get the value of x, we need to take square root of both sides, right? So we have square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 1. So that means that x is equal to plus or minus 1, all right? So that is the value of x. Now let's prove that the answer we got is correct. So the question says e to the power of x squared minus 1 is equal to what x now when x is equal to 1 we have e to the power of 1 squared minus 1 is equal to 1 right so we have e to the power of 1 squared is still 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 so we have e to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0 is equal to 1 and note that any number to the power of 0 is 1 so it simply means that 1 is equal to 1 so this is right now, when x is equal to minus 1, when x is equal to minus 1, we have e to the power of minus 1 squared minus 1 is equal to minus 1, okay? Now, we have that e to the power of minus 1 squared, we give us 1, so we have 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 1, right? So, we have e to the power of 0 
is equal to minus 1 and 1 is not equal to minus 1. So this shows that the answer to our question is actually x is equal to plus 1. Alright, thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.